It disapplies relevant sections of the Human Rights Act. Just listen to that again. It disapplies relevant sections of the Human Rights Act. Human rights are universal. It's not for this government to pick and choose who they should and should not apply to. The Rwanda Bill not only strips away basic human rights from people seeking safety in this country, it actually puts all our rights at risk. Because if this government can just snatch them away from any section of society when it pleases, then none of us has rights. Just privileges that can be taken away by people in power whenever they want. Is that the kind of country we want our children to grow up in? We clearly have a problem with human rights law in this country that is making it difficult for us to achieve our objectives. No matter where we're from, our backgrounds or who we vote for, most of us want our elected leaders to work within the law and not abuse their powers. In the UK, the courts can look at government decisions to check if they're acting within the law. This makes sure people in power can't just do whatever they want, no matter the consequences for anyone else. But this government wants to ignore court rulings and force everyone to play make-believe so it can unlawfully deport people who move here hoping for safety for themselves and their loved ones. It is novel, it is contentious, but that's what we're about. And it just gets worse. It deems Rwanda safe using a notwithstanding clause. Right? We haven't done that before. The Supreme Court has ruled that Rwanda is not a safe country to send refugees to. The government's new Rwanda bill makes clear all decision makers will have to treat it as safe and bans the courts from considering whether it is safe in future, regardless of what evidence anyone is faced with that shows it isn't. The bill seeks to reverse, by statute law, a finding of fact by the highest court in the land, the Supreme Court. It therefore creates a legal fiction. Its title, the Safety of Rwanda Asylum and Immigration Bill, gives the game away. According to the bill, Rwanda is safe, even if it isn't safe, simply because the government, through the bill, says it's safe. This is a shameless power grab that will put the government above the law. Just think about that. And it's not a one-off. The Rwanda Bill is part of a clear pattern of the government attempting to shut down the ways we can all challenge its decisions. It's given the police almost unlimited powers to shut down protests and arrest demonstrators. It's forced through protest regulations it had no power to create after Parliament had rejected them. And it's passed laws to stop people from striking for better working conditions and block millions of people from voting in elections. It's very clear what we're about. Being able to simply override the Supreme Court is an incredibly dangerous move that will essentially let this and all future governments do whatever they please. And we've stopped people bringing judicial review on any of these grounds. Our elected MPs must reject this shocking abuse of power and scrap the Rwanda bill. Click the link with this film to send your MP an email using the online tool provided by Liberty. It takes just three minutes. Encourage family and friends to do the same. Let's stop this completely out of control government together.